viewers from around the world. I'm Kristin Schwartz, licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And today I'm chatting with Tamara Drentel Brent about her upcoming presentation, Lactation Education Outside the Box, Innovative Teaching Strategies to Engage Your Audience. Welcome, Tamara. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule and sitting down here with me and chatting about the presentation, Lactation Education Outside the Box. But before we go to the topic, can you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself and your professional journey? Yes, I'd be happy to. The issue, I guess, is where to start. <laughs> That's always the tough question. But um, my husband and I are American. But in 2009, we both, we moved to the Middle East. Actually, we got married, and then the same week, we, mar we moved to Beirut, Lebanon. And we moved to the Middle East because I was getting my master's in public health at the American University there, and my husband was getting a PhD in Middle Eastern history. And so um, we've been in the Middle East since 2009. That is where my son was born. He actually, when he, uh, the first day of school this year, they had to go around and say where they're from and where they were born. And my son actually said he's Lebanese and from Lebanon. And so um, he definitely identifies with the Middle East. And so um, while I was getting my master's in public health, I, that's when I was pregnant and I just started doing more and more research on breastfeeding. And my specialty was health promotion and community health and lactation fit right in there. And after I had problems breastfeeding myself and realized that breastfeeding rates were really low in the Middle East, and a lot of that was due to just lack of information and support, um, I, I decided I didn't want mothers to have to go through what I did, and especially for there to be lacking information and help and support. And so um, I took the course that many people do. I first became a La Leche League leader, and then I um, did some online uh, lactation education. I became a breastfeeding specialist, lactation educator counselor, clinical lactation manager, and um, I was doing home and hospital visits in Beirut at this time and running prenatal breastfeeding classes. And from there, I joined a lot of lactation consultant groups on Facebook, which is an awesome, it's just this global network of lactation consultants and not just lactation consultants, but breastfeeding supporters helping each other answering questions. But I realized a lot of the tools that they were recommending, we did not have in the Middle East. Um, SNS, symptom, SNS systems, pumping bras, actually good selection of pumps, just all these fancy gadgets that can make helping your breastfeeding clients easier. We just didn't have. And so another one of my, I, I love do-it-yourself. I love to paint. I love to thrift store shop. And so I, I just took that and started doing research on how to get these, I guess, tools um, that people were recommending for teaching lactation education how we could make them, how we could create them. And it, it's not just for those in the Middle East, but also people um, working in resource-poor countries. Maybe you're working in sub-Saharan sub Africa or in a refugee camp, or you um, are working for low-income families in America, Canada, or Europe, and they just don't have the money to go out and buy a pumping bra. And so with this, I just started keeping track of all of my ideas and what worked and what didn't. There were some failures. And mothers really, really responded to that do-it-yourself, creating your own tools. Um, I got a lot of giggles. Even doctors got a total kick out of it. Um, I remember telling a doctor how you can use a broccoli to demonst demonstrate breast anatomy. And he, he was just laughing, and he's like, that's so brilliant. It's simple, but it's brilliant. And so um, I had a lot of fun trying to come up with these different different things. And so um, 
I guess if there's one thing I want participants to be able to take away from my lecture uh, today, gosh, there's so much I hope they take away from. But um, I guess I just hope that um, one of my tools or strategies that they're able to utilize it in a way to better serve their, the breastfeeding families that they're trying to help meet their breastfeeding goals. Um, and so if, if I can, if one of my tips can help one family breastfeed an hour longer, a day longer, a week longer, and can help lactation professionals um, in their job, that, that would be fantastic. So that's the goal. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tamara, for sharing your journey and uh, diving a little bit into the topic here for our listeners and what they're taking away from this presentation. We are very much looking forward to it. Tamara's presentation, Lactation Education Outside the Box, Innovative Teaching Strategies for Engaging Your Audience, is part of the Gold Breastfeeding Education and Advocacy Lecture Pack. And... Um, we are looking forward to having everyone listening to that lecture pack. For more information on the lecture pack and to that particular presentation, you can find out more. Go to goldlearning.com. Thank you again, Tamara, for being here with me today. And thank you to our listening audience. Bye-bye for now.